I've never, I don't think I've ever worked with a director that understands motivation. I'm, I'm not talking character motivation, even plot or arc motivation. I'm talking about human motivation quite so clearly mm. and viscerally and uses that as the uh, focal point of his directing. So that these guys, it's weird because I'm here watching something that can seem stylized, but at the same time, so human, it's almost inhuman. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a really incredible combination. He goes to, he, he really, my view of it is that when he, as he directs us, it's like he's looking for the most basic questions of why are you acting like this? What do you want? And we hear that all the time as actors. What do I want and all that stuff? But for it to be so um, visceral, I think that's what is so incredible about working with him because you're going like, well, I thought I knew my motivation. And then he says, well, is that what you're playing? <laughs> yeah, and you know, the, he, he has it. It's one thing to have a very clear vision and a very clear idea of what the characters and the world's motivation is that we created. But to be able to relay that in a playable way is another skill entirely. Mm. And he can do that because you, you get some directors who aren't able to make themselves clear. But he, he says something and you know, it's, you know exactly what he means and it's instantly a great help. It's, it's, it's funny, his notes or his ideas even, they're not really notes, they're just ideas for playing things, mm. are so psychologically active mm. that it immediately drops into your understanding of the character and the situation almost immediately. And more often than not, it's the exact opposite to what I thought I should be playing. <laughs> but it makes yeah. so I've much sense. Never, never trust your instincts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you've been telling me that I have since day one. Yeah. yeah. No.